Hi there. Nope. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, hi there. I'm Laura Legends. You may remember me from such films as Turning My Fat Cat Into Battle Cat, Sea Monkeys, The Inventor of Clickbait, and welcome to my new toy room vlog. On today's episode, we are celebrating a milestone as we take a deep dive into the past, answer a few questions, and celebrate the big one zero zero, which could not have been made possible without viewers like you. That turned into a PBS special really fast. So this channel actually started out as Bad Dog Toys and the whole premise behind that was I wanted this to be a joint YouTube channel with myself and my brother Mark because we both were collectors, we had some cool collectibles, but that proved to be very difficult because my brother lived in a different city than me and so it was just really hard to coordinate and do stuff like that. I don't know how many videos in, but I just decided to, you know, pull a maverick. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go solo, I'm gonna do my own thing and that is where Laura Legend was born. It was really hard to think of a name. You know, I didn't want something that was too specific. I wanted something that would allow me to do a broad range of videos, you know, from funny skits, cartoons, toy movies, toy reviews of the 80s and 90s, even nowadays, etc. Laura Legends was amazing because it just encompassed everything that I absolutely loved, like sword and sorcery, myths, legends, etc. It was just so broad range that I wanted like a motto, a phrase, a sign off or something like that. So that's where Stay Legendary came from because I wanted something to tie into my name, Laura Legends. And then for some reason, this like hand symbol started evolving. And just like, I felt like there was like this like demonic force that was like putting my hands up at the end of like videos. And I was just like, pew, pew, ch -ch. and you guys, you know, like you're my Sam and you're you're the one that's actually getting me to this point. You know, it's not, it's not only Frodo, you know, going up the mountain. And so I just want to thank, you know, each and every one of my hundred thousand Sams out there you know, for getting me to this point. Oh my God, that was so beautiful. I can't believe I thought of that. So let's celebrate today by taking a look at a few memorable clips, maybe checking out some of my old DIY intros and seeing how we got here today. Bad dog. Hey guys, and welcome to the Bad Dog Toys Review Channel. Muffin, go away. Get out of here. Ah! 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 are good babies. I'm the babysitter. Where's the baby? And it warns that this is a choking hazard. <coughs> the mighty battle cat. Hey, Brian. Oh my god. That was supposed to be Quagmire. Oh, no. Starts looking like a wiener. That's okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. 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 Oh, you chubby puppy. Oh, you chubby puppy. I don't know. It's just so good. Here on ah! the highest to go. Ow! Just hurt my finger. Ah! Ah! And it goes like this. That butt. <sighs> I lost 25 pounds with moon shoes. It's a me, a vlogo. Where's the carrots? Where's the tomatoes? Expectation? Reality. Not a woman. Damn, those legs. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Jurassic World. Rambo. Dante, don't do this, please. He's like an entrepreneur. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Say that again. We have a key wish. And freeze. Watch me smack that hat all on the floor. Smack. Ah! Willow. Willow. <laughs> As I've been print. Oh. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. 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 Unlikely roommates. Roommates. <laughs> Two balls. Ta da! No. No. If the bleeds. We can kill it. <laughs> ah, my arm! And ah, I just. <laughs> Are you serious? No, you jump! Ah! Hey, we both shot the same store. I am Blitz Handsome, and this is an investigation called Handsome versus Predator. 
There are no pictures in this book. Can you not do that, Danto? Dante! Just go naked and chewing all the kids my goodies. Like, <laughs> hey kids. Go! Dante! Go! What are you doing here? Go! Oh my god, you just farted! Did you just come here to fart? Human trophy. I'm picking up my new TV, he said. What are you doing? I can't wait. What did I just say? Can't wait. Oh, I need a warm cat to make me feel better. Maybe I don't. Don't touch the maze. Progress right now. No, 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 ouch. No, 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 you don't leave. No, 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 no. It's Dante. It's Muffin. He's an astronaut muffin. Look, he's eating astronaut food. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, unless if I get invited for Chinese food. Chinese food. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay legendary. Stay legendary. And stay legendary. And stay legendary. Stay legendary. legendary. So let us head over to Instagram where I asked you guys to ask me anything you like, ask me anything you like, ask Jeeves over here, and um, I will do my best to answer it. So apologies if I don't get to your question because there are a lot of questions here, um, but let's just go over a few. Uh, Motor Cash says, Laura, what is best in life? Obviously to crush my enemies, see them driven before me, and to hear the lamentations of their men because I'm assuming I'm like a cool female barbarian and I'm fighting other females. Bioshock Boy 21, what's your favorite video game? Mine is Halo 3 all day. You know what? That's a really good question because, you know, I grew up with the original Nintendo. I, you know, would play Final Fantasy with my siblings. PlayStation 1 was an absolutely fantastic console, in my opinion. Lost World Jurassic Park, so many good games on there. Tomba, Spyro the Dragon, etc. Hands down, I'm going to say Halo 1 for Xbox it was my is my favorite game of all time. It was just such a game changer, that game, when it came out. It did so much for, you know, the first person shooter genre. The graphics were insane. Uh, I remember being so like encapsulated in the story and I'd be playing with my brother, both my brothers, my older brother and younger brother, playing PVP Blood Gulch map was like my favorite. So, oh, just so many hours spent on that game. Absolutely loved it. You know, playing online, Xbox Live and stuff. That was incredibly sweet. So hands down, Halo 1. That was a great question. That was a great question, Bioshock Boy 21. That was fantastic. Thank you. The Predatorium says, congrats, girl. No cue, just that. Ah. <sighs> Thank you very much. That's really nice predatory. So Nico Miguez says, favorite cartoon of all time. That is super hard because I've seen so many cartoons, you know, throughout my lifetime, but something that has always been there with me from the very beginning, you know, to right now, I'm gonna say is The Simpsons. I absolutely love The Simpsons. I quote it all the time. Um, like even whenever I see a can, whenever I see a can, I'm like my cans, my precious antique cans. My cans, my precious antique cans. You know, past season 20, I kind of like, oh, it's not as great, you know, but it's still content. It's still fun to watch and stuff, but definitely Simpsons because it's been there forever. And I think it's there to stay for a long time. Okay, Halo fan 4637 says, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I love this question. I absolutely love this question. I always want someone to ask me this, but the egg came first because in the process of evolution, we saw eggs first in things like in the sea creatures, then it evolved into like reptiles and things that were, you know, semi-aquatic. And then we got the egg, you know, on land. So the whole concept of an egg came way before something like a chicken that evolved, you know, millions of years into the future. So the egg came first, then the chicken. Red underscore T Teletubby with two T's at the beginning says, porn? Question mark? Uh, surprisingly, this question has come up quite a lot. No, no porn. No, no, no. Ah, and then this question is from Gore Minister, Gore Minister. Um, he says, what do you think about German geeks? You know what? I think that German geeks are so hardcore dubstep and heavy metal. I always think of like Germans when they're like, you know, going to a toy show, they're like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> much respect to all you hardcore German geeks out there because that's how I picture all of you guys like. King Zachary V or a King Zachary V if you're looking at Roman noodles, Roman noodles? <laughs> If you're looking at like Roman numerals says, have you ever visited Kualoa Ranch in Hawaii? If not, let's go. You know what? I have visited Kualoa Ranch and it was probably one of the greatest times ever. I almost wanted to just like jump off of the tour bus and just go like sneak, 
behind a tree and just stay there and be like, okay, what can I eat? Maybe there's like a bird or a rabbit that goes by and I can just eat it and stay here forever because I did not want to leave that place. It was so incredibly beautiful. Sorry, I'm just like itchy. I'm not scratching like my private area or anything. Just like my thigh is really itchy. Ah, Luis Saka or Luis Saka says, if you had to save one toy, what would it be? That's a super easy one because that would definitely be my piece of animatronic T-Rex skin from the original Jurassic Park movie. Hands down, my most favorite thing in my collection. So I would definitely be saving that. Just quickly run up here, grab that and go. So Lance Kine Holes says, what do you do for work? So as most of you know, I am a big nerd. So obviously I would have a nerdy job. So I actually work for a publishing company. I do this part-time. I used to do it full-time, like all the time, but now I do part-time and I take on projects when I want a project. But I actually do like writing for textbooks and workbooks um, in math, science and English for um, countries overseas for students who are actually coming in to North America. So like ESL students, uh, English as a second language. So now I do part-time that and I also do some part-time YouTube. So I really hope in the future though to kind of stop doing all of that stuff altogether and just go full out YouTube because this is definitely, this is definitely a huge passion of mine. Started out as a hobby, but now it's like, it's what I want to do. Shogun underscore collectibles says, do you edit your own videos? Yes, I unfortunately edit my own videos. I'm very sorry for the poor and barbaric minimalistic editing. I really hope to master a like better editing program because I'm just using um, iMovie right now on my uh, Mac. And last question here, let's do from M-H-O-D-T, Mahudut, Mahudut asks, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will. So thank you all so much, everybody, once again for your love and support. But I do have to thank two very, very special cuties before before we call it quits today. And that is Muffin and Dante. Muffin has been with me since the very, very beginning of my YouTube journey. You know, chewing through my charging cords, you know, chew through my audio cable. I know you don't really like me that much, but deep down inside, I think you like me. And then there's Dante. Dante is almost two years old. Everybody love you. Mm. <laughs> so Muffin, Dante and I are very excited to see where this channel goes. And thank you again so much to all 100,000 of you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And we'll see you in the next video. So please remember, what the hell was that? This ain't a Broadway dance, Laura. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Oh, pew, pew.